many people who are minorities feel, and African Americans, Latinos, others who are um, not in majority status, not white, feel that the system is built against them. In fact, I believe when I was growing up in the American dream, but I'm white and I believed in it, and I've lived the American dream, but many people who are minorities don't any longer believe in the American dream. They don't think they can rise up. Your hometown of Chicago has had lots of problems, of course. What do you say to these people about whether this country really still exists for the American dream? Is it possible for people to do what you've done? So first and foremost, I'm an example of the American dream being possible, and I can't in any way say that that's not the case. I didn't come from anything. I didn't know anyone. I had no relationships that I could leverage in terms of what I have become. It was just hard work and effort. Um, and along the way, I got lots and lots of breaks and miracles did happen. But the American dream to me is alive and well. Now that said, I'm a capitalist with a capital C, but I think capitalists should be working for more people. Right now, the system is limited. It is not as good as it could be. It's gotten better over time, but it can be better still. And it will be better still when more people of color can participate in the system. When everyone can play, the game gets better. We have learned that time and time again. Reverend Jesse Jackson says it about baseball. It wasn't as good as it could be until Jackie Robinson can play. When everyone can play, when you can have the best competitors uh, competing, you ultimately end up with a better outcome globally, domestically, inside of a company. And so to me, the American dream is possible, but it is failing a lot of people because of some of these racial blinders that exist.